Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna to be talking all about the best first date ideas. I did a video all about the worst places to take a first date, so if you haven't already, be sure to check that out because I promise you do not wanna make any of those mistakes and set yourself up for disasters. So today I'm gonna to be walking you guys through some really great first date ideas. These are first dates that I've been on before. These are just first dates that in my mind would be an amazing place to take a first date if you're looking to date a girl, if you're looking to have a nice time with a girl, um, if you're someone that's just looking for a hookup, maybe these aren't the best ideas for you. In that case, you can probably just go out for 9 p.m. drinks and do whatever you wanna do. But this is for the guys that wanna take a girl on a nice first date without breaking the bank, without putting too much pressure on it, without being locked into something like I talked about in my worst date ideas video. So make sure you stick around until the very end because I have some great ideas for all of you guys. If you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I am almost to 100,000 followers. And when I get there, I'm gonna be doing a super awesome giveaway that I promise you will not want to miss. So hit that subscribe button. All right guys, so number one on my list is coffee or drink. So personally, I would prefer going out for coffee. I think it's just a safer option, especially if you don't know if that other person drinks or not. A coffee shop is a great place to go because they have more than just coffee also. If you're someone out there that does not like coffee, I know some of you are like that. Personally, I need it to survive and to function. So a coffee shop for a first date would be a great option. And the reason why I chose this is because it's very casual. It doesn't lock you into a long drown out dinner. You can go whenever you please if it's not going well and you're really not locked into anything serious. So just getting coffee or meeting up for drinks is a great option. I think this is one of the best first dates you can go on. It's very casual, very laid back. I think that often coffee shops make great first date locations. They're often really relaxed and chill and just a nice place to meet up with someone for the first time. You can just grab a table, get yourself a drink and sit and talk for as long as you please. I just really love this one. I've been on first dates where we went to a coffee shop and it always went really well. So definitely a great option. If you're opting for grabbing drinks and of like a coffee shop, I would just recommend going somewhere a little chill, maybe somewhere that's not super rowdy. In my worst date video, I mentioned going to a bar is maybe not the best place just because they can get kind of rowdy, chaotic, crowded, and can be kind of loud. So I would just keep in mind the bar that you're choosing. I know there are some really great bars out there that are relaxed and not chaotic like a club would be. Um, I think often the themed bars can be really cool too, like the ones that have game, like board games to play, arcade games, um, the ones that also are like a speakeasy, just kind of have a theme. I I think those are really neat and can be a great place to meet also. So just be selective in the bar that you choose. You won't wanna go somewhere super rowdy or loud. I know thinking back to college, the bars were always crazy packed. Everyone was in there like sardines. So it would not have been a great place to go for a first date. You would have been squished together, loud. It's just really hard to talk and hear the other person. So if you're gonna choose drinks instead of coffee, just opt for somewhere that's a little bit more chill. Number two, we have the breakfast, lunch, or brunch date. The reason why I've all these in together is because they are just earlier in the day and often feel a lot more casual and laid back than a fancy dinner would be. This is often a lot more inexpensive as well. I've found that breakfast and lunch tend to cost a lot less than a nice dinner. If you take her out to a fancy restaurant, you're gonna be spending a lot of money. So this is a great option if you're looking to have a good time without breaking the bank. I also think that asking a girl out to a date that's earlier in the day is often a really good look also because it makes it apparent that you aren't just going out with her to hopefully sleep with her, like maybe a 9 p.m. meetup for drinks would be. Um, it's obviously gonna depend on the girl and the vibe that you're going for, but I think this is just a really good sign and a green flag when you're making plans with a girl, she's gonna like this. So another great thing that I love about meeting earlier in the day is that if the date goes really well, you could be spontaneous and do something else together. If, like I said, the date went well and you'd like to keep it going, I think that's a great option too. I've done that on a first date and I've been with a guy for three years. So it works for me, I promise it's a good thing for you. And it helps you if you can kind of think on your feet and plan something spontaneous afterwards. She's gonna really like that. Next up on my list, we have the great outdoors. So I have a bunch of different ones looped into this one because I think there are so many things that you can do if you opt for an outdoor date. Obviously, this is gonna be a lot better if you live somewhere that's a little bit warmer. You wouldn't necessarily want to go and freeze your butt off unless you know that other girl is into stuff like snowboarding, skiing, and all of that. Um, but I think that a date outside is often better if it's a little bit warmer and you're not gonna be freezing. So this one's kind of gonna depend a little bit more on you and your date's interest 
interests. So if you hit it off talking about hiking, you both are really into that, that might be a really good option for you guys. Personally, hiking is not my thing. I am not a very outdoorsy person and I would opt for a walk instead. So if a hike is a little bit too intense for you and you wanna just keep it kind of chill for the first date, I think a walk around the park or a metro park or just something like that is also a great option. So next in the outdoor category is mini golf. I think this one is a lot of fun and I know it sounds kind of lame, but I've never had a bad time mini golfing. I think it's fun because there's a competitive aspect to it and you can kind of see how you interact with each other and it has a definite end when the game is over. So if the date's going horrible and you wanna get out of there, you can just leave as soon as the mini golf is over and you don't feel locked into something like a dinner or grabbing drinks where you kind of have to create the end for yourself. So that's a great thing about mini golf. A pro tip here, if you wanna keep the date going after mini golf is over is you could say something like, whoever loses at mini golf has to buy ice cream. So then you're continuing the date. It's a fun competitive thing and it just kind of all ties in together, which makes it really nice. So pro tip there if you wanna keep the date going. Next up, we have a picnic at the park or the beach. Even if you don't include the picnic aspect, I think just going to a park or the beach or something outdoors, depending on where you live, can be really fun as well. This is free, you don't have to pay anything, which is even better. If you're someone that doesn't like to pay for someone that you don't even know if you like yet, this is a great option for you. And the good thing about choosing a park or a beach or somewhere outdoors is that even if you have that picnic, once that's over, you can still enjoy where you're at. Sit down, walk around, whatever your heart desires, but it's a great way to keep the date going and enjoy where you're at. So my last idea in the outdoor category is a farmer's market or a flea market. I know a lot of cities have been doing these lately in the summertime and these are one of my favorite things to do. I think they're so much fun. It's great to shop local, see all these different things that people are offering, and just kind of look around and shop around while also enjoying the weather. This would definitely be my personal favorite on the outdoor list. I absolutely love going to these. I think they're a ton of fun. There's always a bunch of different people there selling a ton of cool stuff that you wouldn't normally see. Shopping is actually a great way to get to know someone. If you're just walking around, you can see their spending habits a little bit and just kind of get to know them a little bit better. And the the good thing about this one also is that you're you're surrounded by a ton of different things so it's easier to make conversation more so than if you were just sitting at a table in a coffee shop if you're someone that struggles with making conversation surrounding yourself with conversation starters is a great thing to do so moving out of the outdoor category number four on my list is a museum a botanical garden something like that this one is always super fun to me I love museums I love the botanical garden I like to see all the cool new exhibits and all of that stuff so if you and your date are really into that, I think this is a great option. And again, just like the farmer's market, you are surrounded with conversation starters. That is the whole point of going to a museum or a botanical garden is to kind of take in the things around you. And if you're with someone, you can talk about it and enjoy it together. Another great thing about this one is that most museums or things like that are free or only require a small donation. Of course, this is gonna depend where you go, but normally, even if you do have to pay to get in, it's normally a pretty cheap price. So again, if you don't wanna break the bank. This is an awesome first date, one of my favorites of all time. And last on my list, for all of you that drink alcohol, a brewery or a wine tasting is a ton of fun. Even as someone who doesn't drink, I think these are really fun because you just get to try different things and see what you like, see what you don't like, and it's a great way to start conversations again as well. The good thing about a brewery or a wine tour, it gives a little bit more structure to the date. So normally you're in like a room with other people, you're all following along something, or you're just trying different things and when it's over, it's over, but there's often more structure to the date than if you were to just meet up for drinks. So this can be great if you're someone that, like I've said before, struggles with keeping things going. You know, you want a definite end to things. You want a little bit more structure to the date and something to follow along with. This is a great option. They're a ton of fun and definitely a more classy way to enjoy an alcoholic beverage. All right, guys, that is all I have for the best first date ideas. Of course, at the end of the day, these are just things that I think would be awesome, things that I've been on that I've really enjoyed and I think would be an awesome choice for all of you as well. But let me know in the comments down below what first dates you've been on that you've really enjoyed. I think it helps guys out when you leave comments down below sharing your success stories, what went well and what didn't to kind of help them in their future endeavors as well. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there as well. And it's the best place to connect with me a little bit more one-on-one -on -one if that's something that you would like to do. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.